along the way. And Laura's going to tell us what it's going to be like now. Laura. Cool and cloudy, so probably not too bad the weather there in London. But for many of us today, it has started off pretty cloudy, you can see from the satellite picture. But just draw attention to this cloud in the north. It's tied in with a weather front. It's a cold front. That'll play a key factor in our weather as we head through the coming days as things turn a little bit colder. But for today, beneath this huge mass of cloud through southern areas of England and Wales, it has been raining. Again, it's been a dull, damp start. Some of the yellow and green there showing some of that rain has been pretty heavy. And where we have the cloud today, it will be disappointingly cool, but where we have the sunshine, it will feel pleasantly warm. Now, for the far north of Scotland and the Northern Isles, that's where our second weather front is at the moment, keeping it cloudy, cooler here. But with the May sunshine, for western Scotland, northwest England, temperatures today mid to high teens. But for eastern areas where it stays cloudy, a cool 7 or 8 at best. Then we jump into our other band of rain, sitting through central areas of England. For southern counties, it remains pretty grey this afternoon, outbreaks of rain and drizzle, and those temperatures will struggle, 9 or 10 degrees. That is well below average, but maybe with glimmers of brightness, we could get up to 11 or 12 across southwest England. Still fairly grey, fairly gloomy for much of Wales. The far north could brighten up lighter, and for Northern Ireland, with some sunshine and light winds, temperatures in the mid to high teens. Now, overnight to night, we keep it cloudy in the south, grey, damp and drizzly, with misty conditions developing. Our weather front in the north will bring some slightly cooler conditions into the far north of Scotland, fives and sixes. Typically, though, it is a mild night, eight or nine are low. So as we head through Friday, the northerly component develops, bringing cold air in across the far north of Scotland, sunshine and wintry showers here, and a drop in temperatures for western Scotland, some 7 or 8 degrees. But still, for central areas on Friday, it is cloudy, damp and drizzly. Tomorrow night, you'll notice this tinge of blue developing right across the north of the map. We could get as low as minus six overnight, but still staying mild in the south. And that is pretty unusual for the time of year into the weekend. The weather front turns it cooler. We'll see some frost developing by night, but it should be largely drier, a lot drier than previous days. So for Saturday, this is how it looks. Cloudy in the south. That'll soon clear away with some brighter skies developing and some wintry showers for the far north of Scotland. By Sunday, it's temperatures 10 or 11, struggling a little, but watch out for those nighttime frosts. They are pretty unusual for this time of year. Laura, thank you very much indeed. And that is all from us.